Next guest is with the leading supplier of thermal imaging equipment, and they're now putting their technology in the palm of our hands and making things available for consumers. Very cool stuff. He is the vice president of FLIR, Jim McGowan. Jim, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Thank you very much. You know, uh, your booth has been in the background <laughs> of almost all of our guest shots. And, and if Chris pulls out just a little bit, you had the, the shortest distance to walk <laughs> to join us for your interview because right over your shoulder is your booth that we have seen very busy, very crowded <laughs> for this entire week here at CES. And now I understand why, because you're doing some pretty cool stuff available for consumers as well. Yeah, I'm glad it was a short walk because I'm, <laughs> I'm out of breath from talking over there. I, no, I, I hear you. <clears throat> so we've got a brand new product. It's really exciting. We are putting a uh, thermal imager on an iPhone 5. It's the first personal thermal imager available to consumers. Nice. So it's, it's really cool. And and, if, and you mentioned the iPhone 5, so us Androids are out of luck at the moment, but I'll bet you there's something in development. And your guess is correct. That's right. So, okay. so right now it's iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S, mm -hmm. and uh, the Android platform will come out a little later in the year, probably around the summer or so. So what, what this is initially is a case. It is. Basically. It, All right, so here's, it, here's your iPhone. Oh, we're already seeing how uh, how H is cooking over there. Check him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. And um, it's a case that we're putting over the iPhone that has the FLIR technology inside. It does. And on the back, as I spin this around, if you're listening while you're driving, don't be looking at your radio. Visit us at intotomorrow.com and check for the FLIR video, and you'll see this. Uh, very cool stuff on the back. It, it, tell me what I'm what we're looking at here. Okay, so what you're looking at is a sled, as we call it, that a goes sled. on the okay. goes on the iPhone 5. It's self-contained in that it has its own battery, so we're not taking any power from your iPhone 5. We're actually powering our own technology. Oh. We've got two cameras in there. You can see the little two imagers there. One of them is a visual camera, and the other one is our thermal technology. It is our new Lepton. Uh, camera core in there, which is very small, very powerful, and you'll see it in the front image and what it what it produces on the iPhone. So would we slide this to change cameras? Basically, when is? it's up in the top position, it's off. The slide is really a shutter, and what that does is it makes sure that all of the pixels are, are ready to read a temperature for you, right? So when you pull down on that slide, if you're holding it here, and I pull down, you'll uh -huh. see a check mark after a couple seconds. Yes. Let go of that, and now you'll get a temperature readout. Oh, my gosh. So if I zero this on H... I should see that he's, uh, he's well, right now he's 81.8 degrees from this, so, give or take. From this yeah, distance. From this distance. Correct. Right. So you can actually then get determined temperature of objects or people or pets or what have you. Absolutely. Or the, or the fever if your kid is running kind of hot or ah. if your food is cooked. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do if your campfire's out. So, I mean, there's a lot of power in your hand, and we're letting you see things that you normally wouldn't see by day. You'll also notice on there that there's a lot of sharp lines on there that kind of enhance the image there. And if we had a TV screen or something, you could notice that you can read text on thermal images you normally would not be able to see. Really? That's provided by our powerful MSX feature. And that is the basically blending the two technologies together from the, from the fusion of the day image or the th and the thermal image together to create something so you see more than just the thermal image. Nice. Now, from a consumer standpoint, aside from the cool factor and sure. being able to, to point it and get temperatures and so forth, what practical uses can you share with us that folks will go, ah, now I do need one? Well, you know, everybody's concerned about the bottom dollar, yeah, correct? Yeah, of course. So doing a home en energy um, audit on your on your own home is not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. You can walk around and take a look and see if your contractor did a good job making your house uh, airtight and and making sure that your windows are installed correctly, that the insulation is where it's supposed to be. This is a very good tool, a powerful tool for the consumer. That's just one use. Yeah. Again, outdoor. If you're an outdoor person, you can go and see wildlife. You can be in your campground, and if you hear bump in the night, you can take a peek outside and see what's going oh, on. Or have this take the peek and let the FLIR yeah. tell you if it's safe to come out, or is it a bear? It, absolutely. <laughs> come be out of your tent. <laughs> because thermal imaging technology sees equally as well at night as it does during the day. It requires no light whatsoever. It's basically only detecting heat, and it wow. creates, takes that heat and creates an image for you. That's amazing. So very cool. And available now? Available in April for okay. the iPhone 5 and 5S. And then for, for you Android types out there, we're not forgetting about you. The Android Good. platforms are coming out in the summer or so. All right. And what price point? I, I'm not sure if I asked or not. There's $349. Something. $349 okay. through major electronic retailers. All right. Very good. And probably info at FLIR.com as info well. Info at right? FLIR.com. And it's been exciting. So it's probably a lot of info that can be found there <laughs> because we're, saying, we're hearing that it's getting blown up. So. Oh, I'll bet. Oh, for sure. And, and you're welcome to link 